where we face a very good Gardner Webb football team. I've been talking about this all week long, that um, it's just not an FCS team that's going to come in here and give up. And a lot of credit goes to uh, Trey Lamb and his uh, football team. Well, on defense, you know, they had 10 preseason all-conference players coming back and, and three uh, preseason all-Americans. So um, a great team win. I just want to say thanks to the students, I mean, coming out and that kind of support. Early two hours before game time, they're out there having a good time and really getting us going. We had 36,000 um, at fans at the Rock today, which is which you, it's huge. It's big in recruiting. It's big for everybody involved. So, um, again, happy to be one to know, but we have a lot of work to get done uh, before we go to Chapel Hill um, next week, and we'll get back tomorrow morning and get working on the, on the Tar Heels. David Ware, 24-7 Sports. Sean, let's, I mean, let's just go ahead and address the, the elephant, um, the quarterback change that took place. Can you give us a little bit of – insight as to what made that call? Yeah, it's, it was my call. It came into a, a situation that, that Ryan kind of jammed his finger a little bit, and I thought we needed a, a spark to, to get us going. And uh, Joey came in, his first uh, collegiate pass for App State's a touchdown, and that gave us a spark we needed. Again, Ryan will be checked out by our doctors tonight, tomorrow morning, and we'll have a, a better understanding of what's going on. But uh, uh, I, right now it's a, it's a jam finger. I just thought that uh, Joey came in, and we needed a spark on offense. A lot of stuff went on in the third quarter. Um, offensively, it almost felt like maybe, and this is the antithesis of what you guys normally do, the pass almost kind of opened up the run a little bit. What did you notice and what were you hearing from the box when the run play started opening up a little more? Well, early on, they were going to make us run the football. Uh, you can you can see, you probably saw where you're setting from. They came in and, and it was single high coverage and you had to win on the outside. And we couldn't, we couldn't push the ball downfield the first and second quarter. and. Again, that's that's not on on Ryan. Ryan, I mean, he was going through his progression, but uh, just wasn't getting the pushing the ball downfield. And I think it has a lot to do with his finger. We'll have more details uh, tomorrow morning. But you're you're right. We had to really push the ball downfield, and and Joey gave us that opportunity to, to make plays down the field. Defensively, right around the same time, it felt like Scott Sloan kind of figured out the um, the recipe for starting to get some pressure in the backfield. It, did you hear or see them doing anything unique that kind of dialed that up at the end? No, I think we changed some things up our front. And we have, we have the good thing is through the transfer portal, through recruiting, we were able to have some depth now on the defensive line. We're playing, I think we played eight uh, defensive linemen today, which is a lot for us to, when you have 3D linemen. Um, and and we, we were fresh. And then when Coach Sloan dials blitz us up, we were winning our one-on-one blocks in the very, uh, at the line of scrimmage. And uh, I thought we played well in the secondary. We were giving up some easy hitches. Early, and we had to ch change our the rotation of our safeties, get the corners to play more press coverage. But again, they, they have a good football team, and that quarterback's a good player, and that running back's he, he's elite. He could play in the sun, anywhere in the Sun Belt. So uh, they give us a lot of um, challenges by formations, by motions, some uh, different types of screens that we worked all week. And we, but again, I'm just proud. You know, our defense got, gave got three turnovers. And you look at uh, Jack Scroggs and and Jay Green and Montez Kelly, uh, guys that aren't starters, but w when their number was called, they made a play. Speaking of Scroggs, was, uh, was that the first one-handed catch you've seen him make? Well, he hasn't made a catch in fall camp. He's dropped a bunch, but uh, we're, uh, that, that, was a, that was a heck of a catch. It was a one-handed catch, and um, so we're happy he was in the right spot at the right time, and we're happy for Jay Green and Montez. Coach Chris Peterson, WXI TV. Uh, even before the jam finger, it, it just seemed like um, Ryan was um, holding the ball a little long, wasn't quite as confident. Joey comes in, and it's quick, confident decisions and marching the team down the field. What, what were you seeing between the two quarterbacks today? Well, we have a lot of confidence in Ryan Berger. Ryan Berger is a really good quarterback, and he has a bright future ahead of him. Uh, when Joey came in, he, he just played – he's played before. He's, he's a junior college player. He's played in college football games. And, and he has a little bit – he's a little older, and which helps. And But uh, I don't second-guess my decision that Ryan Berger was a starting quarterback coming out of fall camp. And, and this week, uh, Joey had a great week of practice, and, and so did Ryan. But um, we're not going to second-guess what we did, and Ryan Berger's going to be a great quarterback here. And we'll have more answers as it goes uh, tomorrow morning and come Monday. What do you think about the future as far as, like, who would start against Carolina? The future is – I'm going to watch a 7:30 football game tonight. Have a relax and have a good time. It's, it's. We talked. My Doug and I talked about this yesterday. It is hard to win. I don't care where you're at. College football is many upsets every single week. 
We're going to enjoy this tonight. Come back in about 8 o'clock tomorrow morning and watch this tape, put it to bed. When our players get back here at noon on Sunday, uh, we'll move on to Carolina. So uh, we're not going to worry about the quarterback position. We're not going to worry about nothing except we won the football game. We have a lot to improve on. And I know our players are hungry uh, to get down to the Chapel Hill next weekend and put on a great performance. We, we talk about it all the time here. You have to earn your way on the football team, and, and Joey did that throughout fall camp. And, you know, the, the, the difference between Ryan and Joey was you know, a quarter of an inch. It wasn't that much, but we just thought that Ryan gave us the best chance to win uh, when fall camp was over. And, and Ryan, but Joey had a great week of practice. So uh, we won't second guess our decisions uh, because we have a lot of great weapons around them. And um, I think our tight ends, our offensive line, our, our running backs ran the ball hard and gave us a chance to push the ball downfield when we had to do it. A lot of things, you know, Ryan, uh, both quarterbacks are exceptional quarterbacks. They are, and we're very fortunate. We have three, really four quarterbacks that we feel very confident in taking our offense, moving the ball down the field. <clears throat> but our orders to our quarterbacks throughout fall camp were who can move the ball down the field, eliminate the turnovers, and score in the red zone. And it was a tough decision as a coaching staff. It was probably 50 50 between coaches who wanted who to go. And um, that's the great thing about being the head football coach. You have 51% of the votes. And so I made the decision for Ryan Berger to be the quarterback. And I'm not going to second guess that. But again, when you recruit Joey, we knew what we had in Joey. And we knew we had a great quarterback in Ryan. We knew we had a, a, a really a great quarterback in, in, in Joey. And so, you know, and we have, you, know, like you look at Mason McHugh, look at uh, Hernandez, uh, uh, Estep. I mean, we have, we have some good quarterbacks. And um, depending on how Ryan is this week, and we'll move to the next. But they're not going to stop the season because one guy's not feeling good or his finger hurts or, or we don't feel like he can throw the ball down the field. So uh, there's no, no uh, doubt in my mind that Ryan will bounce back this week and have a great, great, a great week of practice. We'll have the same discussion probably Thursday or Friday of next week. Were you disappointed with the play on both sides of the line in the first half? Did you feel like that uh, maybe you, your line play wasn't aggressive enough? No, I'm never disappointed in our players. Uh, I have the utmost confidence in our guys. And, uh, you know, they were going to make us one-dimensional. And, and their goal was to make us run the football. And they, how they, they rotate their safeties down, it gives our quarterbacks some different uh, reads. But, you know, anytime you have two high safeties, you have, you have to be able to run the football. If you have one high safety, you have to be able to throw the football. And, um, and they are a good football team, 47-15. Now, those guys are, are Division One football players. They're, they can play in the Sun Belly and play in the, the Power Fives. And I've talked about it all week. I mean, they have great football players over there. He's recruited well, and um, a, lot, a lot of credit goes to them for the way the, way the game started off early. What do you have to do to adjust to uh, uh, the, the passing game where they were moving the pocket and hitting the flats so effectively today? No, they, they did a great job keeping us off balance early. I think in the fourth quarter, we changed some things how we were doing it. We uh, brought our corners down and played more press coverage. We walked our outside linebackers out. If you walk your outside linebackers out, you're more, um, you know, chance they can run the football. So, but when that happens, we have to make a play out there. We have to defend a block, get off a block, make a tackle, and rally the football. I like that hat you got on, though. <laughs> Any more questions? Thank Great. Just again, I'll say it again. Thank you for the fans. Thank you for the students. And that was big time. That was a big time atmosphere. We had a lot of recruits on campus. So uh, thank you, App Nation, for showing up. And we look forward to getting back here in a few weeks. Thank you.